Hello campers and RVers, tonight I'm going to talk to you about my frustration with the U.S. interstates or freeways. Um, I do a lot of traveling and uh, see a lot of stuff going on in the interstates and I have five levels of frustration to, uh, to share with you this evening. And the first one is furniture on the freeway. I just have no idea how the amount of furniture ends up on the freeway. It's just mind-boggling to uh, be driving down the road and see a couch on the side of the road or a mattress or a big huge lazy boy chair on the side of the road or in the center of the freeway or on the uh, median strip. Um, I've seen all kinds of stuff out on the freeways and it just is incredibly um, mind-boggling how this stuff gets there. I would think whoever is hauling this stuff would notice when they got home that they didn't have their mattress or they didn't have their couch to sit on. But um, I see it all over the place. I was uh, recently in Biloxi, Mississippi, and there was a, like a crib and a mattress on the side of, uh, the, I think it was the 110, and it sat there for for a couple of weeks, there were 10 days that I was there, whatever whatever the amount of time was that I was there. And it just baffled me. Is somebody not missing their crib for their kid? Um, I, I don't know how this stuff gets out there. And uh, it's almost like you could go around and collect the furniture and you know, you could set up your own household with the amount of stuff that's out there. And mattresses, lots of mattresses out on, the, out on these highways. I'm not sure how that happens. Um, but that's the first thing that is very frustrating. The second, second thing that frustrates me is the amount of trash that you see out on the freeways. And, um, you know, I can imagine maybe somebody threw, uh, something in the back of their pickup and forgot about it, got busy, whatever, and they're driving down the road and it flies out. Okay. I mean, that's still unexcusable, but Hey, it was an accident that happened. But the amount of trash that you see out on the freeway, and I've seen trash trucks where the trash is flying out and uh, where they don't have something secured over the top. Okay, but still, the I mean, I will literally see tons of trash on the sides of the roads on the freeways when you're going down the road. And it's just, again, mind boggling. I can't explain it. How does all of this trash end up on the uh, beautiful highways that we have? The third thing that's very, very frustrating to me is the uh, potholes and the uh, uneven uh, pavement that's out there. Uh, and again, it's, it's across all states. Uh, you'll be driving along in huge potholes. And these potholes just don't happen, you know, today. They're there for weeks, months. And it's like, why don't they go out and fix the potholes? I'm not saying go out and repave everything, but at least fix the potholes because uh, as you're traveling, you know, on a freeway, it does damage to your vehicle, it does damage to your tires, it does damage to your rig traveling, uh, you know, at 55, 60, 65 miles an hour on the freeway, whatever the speed limit is, and uh, you hit one of those potholes, it can seriously do damage to your um, to to your vehicle and also to your rig. So I, I, again, that's very frustrating for me. The fourth thing that frustrates me, and uh, it's really hard to talk about, are the domestic dead animals that you see out there. I don't know where they're coming from, and it's uh, it's very disheartening to see that. Um, we have pounds and. Uh, um, animal shelters and, and things like that that people could take their animals to if they don't want them anymore. But I, I just don't know why there's so many domestic animals. I understand the wild animals. You can't keep that from happening. They're, they're just going to you know do what they're going to do at night or they're attracted to light or not attracted to light. I'm not sure. 
but they uh, do the running around a lot of times at nighttime. And so, yes, you do see the wild animals, the deer and the, the skunks, the, the raccoons and all that kind of stuff. But the domestic animals, it's just really sad. And um, anyways, I, I can't talk about that any anymore because it, I recently lost my dog and it's just it's incredibly upsetting. Um, but the last thing and probably the most frustrating for me is the amount of orange safety cones that you see out there indicating that there's going to be, you know, construction zone or highway work being done. And so, you know, everybody has to slow down and go into one lane and merge over and all that takes time. And uh, you finally merge over and you get over and getting down the road and you're looking around to see that nobody's even there working no construction works being done, no highway works being done, yet all of these cones for miles and miles and miles making everybody merge for no reason. Now, somebody could say, hey, they're going to go out and work on it, you know, in a few days or something like that. But you'll keep traveling through that area over and over and over again and never see anybody working out there. And if you do see somebody working, it's maybe four or five people standing around and maybe one person has a broom that's sweeping. I, I never really see a lot of work being done. And again, it's across all states. So that is really frustrating after, you know, sitting for a long period of time to merge, get down there and then find that there's nothing even being done. But um, those are my frustrate that the, that is my frustration with the interstates and traveling on them. And like I said um, before, I really try to avoid them. And sometimes when I'm in a hurry to get someplace, I can't always take the back roads, which I try not to hurry anywhere. I like to take my time getting to places, but um, uh, it's, it's much more uh, enjoyable to me uh, to go through the small towns and experience uh a, a much more um, calmer ride so and that's what I'm out here to do is have a good time and and see the beautiful country that we live in so anyways I'm sorry to be complaining tonight about it but I've been wanting to do this video for a long time just to share my frustration maybe somebody can shed some light on some of these things but again finding out a couch or a mattress on the side of the road or, you know, the baby crib. You would think somebody's missing that. Uh, but anyways, that's it for tonight. I just want to thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one.